up everyone, it's Ms. Hollywood. I'm here at the Chinese Theater for the world premiere of Mom's Night Out. It stars Patricia Heaton, Sean Astin, Sarah Drew, and Trace Atkins. You guys are gonna love it. We're gonna hit the red carpet and interview all the famous stars. Are you a dad? You have kids? Yeah. So have you needed a night out away from your kids? Well, see, the thing about me is I spend so much time away from home. You know what I mean? I'm actually running from my house when I'm done, you know, and especially now I'm working on Hawaii Five-0, and I'm, you know, I'm not even in the continental U.S. So when it, when I come home, I'm happy to be home. I'm ready to go to all of his little social. His, his social calendar is busier than mine. So now he has to fit you into this game. Yeah, basically. I mean... Our boy is, you know, it's always some birthday party or some play day. It used to be you just go outside and play. Now you got to book something. You know what I mean? But um, I enjoy it. I enjoy my time with my family. I enjoy my time with my wife. You with my wife. Now she's over here. She How old is your son? Uh, he's six. Oh, he's six and yeah. you have to fit, he has to fit you in his kid? It's he only going to get worse when he's a teenager. It, well, good, you know. <laughs> But I, I, I don't have to worry about keeping up with him. He loves his pop and he wants me to be around him all the time. So talk to me about how you got involved in uh, this podcast. Yeah, Mom's Night Out. Uh, you know, the script was, the original script was written by Andrea Nasva. She wrote a great script. And I just wanted to do, I wanted to produce a film that really uh, celebrated moms and the work that they did so hard. I see my wife. I'm so just in awe of what she does to raise our three boys. And so, uh, and do it in the vein of uh, clean family comedy and then celebrate it on Mother's Day. So here we are, it's like the perfect storm of events. And with Mom's Night Out, that's what we want. People just go to the movies, celebrate moms in the, uh, with a clean family comedy and laugh out loud. Now you guys have to have those moments where you want to get away from your kids and want to return your kids. Because <laughs> my uncle always says like, I'm gonna send you back where you came from. Yeah, my mom used to say, "I'm gonna turn you in for a new model," <laughs> or "I'm gonna send you, I'm gonna send you to Timbuktu." Where is Timbuktu? Yeah. That's my question. Yeah. So you've had to have those moments as parents. I'm sure. That's when you're like, "Honey, we need a date night," or well, "I'm getting a babysitter." Yeah. Get the alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> Get some. I mean, I don't have kids, yeah. but I have nephews. Yeah, yeah. And you do need breaks. To be a, I think, to be a better parent, you need a break. There's a lot of moms that are doing both jobs, and there's a lot of dads that are doing both jobs. And at some point, we all ask that question, are we enough? Are we doing everything we can for ourselves and for our kids? And that's something that the movie you know, asks and it says, at some point, you just have to realize you are enough. Right. Yeah, it definitely, you know, it's definitely relatable to guys and girls, moms and dads. It's got something for everybody. But like you said, you know, the heart of it is to say, hey, guys, you don't compare yourself to everybody else on Facebook where you're seeing an editorialized version of their life. This job is hard. Raising kids is hard. And what you guys do across the board is important and should be celebrated. When we went into filming this, I told Mandy, I was like, take the weekend off. I'm going to take the kids for two days by myself. Yeah, okay. So it didn't go so well. But I, I, I took them out of town and I came back and said, my job, I, I direct, you know, hundreds of people. I got, you know, multi-million dollar budgets and it doesn't even compare to how tough your job is. It, this is exhausting. And so regardless of whether a woman works or not, the, the point is being a mom is tough and it should be celebrated and that's what Mom's on Out does. Well, you got an awesome movie on your hands. I've already seen it twice, so th congratulations. Thank you humor. so you're much, hysterical. thank you. Have you had those moments though where you're like, I don't know if I can do this, I don't know if I am enough for this child? Because that's really what this movie like. I mean, I think I think every parent has moments of, of doubt in their capacity and wondering if they can juggle everything. I, I think especially, you know what, every mom. I was gonna say working moms, but I don't think that that's necessarily true i think it, all moms are wondering if they're at every moment doing what's best for their child and being there for their friends and being there for their family other than their children and and, and keeping all the plates spinning and so yeah it's a challenge and it takes sisterhood to keep it going but when you passed out on the floor when you got electrocuted i thought i was gonna have a heart attack i was like please don't leave me the chief is gonna go so um you have kids, are they older, younger? Yeah, I have a daughter who's 26 and a son who's 
39. So now they have to schedule you in their time. Is that how it goes? Yeah, yeah, they, they, yes, that's how it goes. Yeah, they both have very busy lives, and uh, you know, great. My daughter actually is an actress, so uh, she's in New York. And, you have grandkids now? Congratulations. That, to me, I mean, I've heard, I don't, obviously, I don't have grandkids, but I've heard it's so much better the second time. You could spoil them and send them home. Send them home, exactly. Now, when they were younger, did you feel like you needed a night away? Like, okay, I've had enough. I, ha I have to well, get away. Every, every parent has to have a night away. You know, the parents have to have a date night. You have to schedule a date night of, or you, you'll kill each other. So, yeah. absolutely. I'm sure you'll be excited to see this night and say, thank God my kids are older. Yes. And now my grandkids, I can send them home. Exactly. exactly. And how old are your grandkids? Uh, my oldest is 19. Yeah. I think they go all the way down to... Ten, I believe. Oh, that's cute. They're all my sons. Oh, wow. How many? Jeez. He was busy. And now you're like, now you get to deal with what I had to deal with as a parent. And I'll just sit back and drink my brandy and, you know, be happy about it. Your uh, scene last week, giving it to your girlfriend and not taking it down. Thank you, God, because there's a lot of men that would just sit there and take it. I was giving you a round of applause. Oh, hell yeah, because there's too many men that take it sitting down. And I was just like, oh, and I loved how you put the ring down and just walked away. I was like, that is a man. That is a man. You are one of the greatest actors, and I am just so blessed to have met you because I have been following you, and I feel like I, I just met the chief, man. I hit the chief. What do you want people to get out of this movie when they walk away? Uh, first of all, we hope that they have a bigger appreciation for moms because their role is so important. Uh, we I really want to tell her that. I do all the time, actually, especially since making this movie. Um, it's so been it took the movie for you to realize. Especially, oh, I said, especially doing this movie. Yeah, <laughs> no, you know what? Moms are special. Wives are incredible. What she does is incredible, and so you know, I'm glad to be a part of a movie where we can actually celebrate that. You know, I did Courageous a few years back, which is all about dads. I finally got to do a movie where I can tell my mom how much I love her and how much I, I enjoyed being her son. Of course, there are parts that you can relate to in this movie being a relatively new mom. Yes. What do you want moms to get away from or people getting away from watching I this want, movie? I want moms to walk out of the theater feeling like the superstars that they are. The mom job is the hardest job on the planet, and we don't honor or celebrate them enough. So I want them to feel celebrated and honored. That's my hope. That's a wrap for Mom's Night Out, the world premiere here at the Chinese Theater. It was so great talking to all the celebrities walking the red carpet. Go see the movie. It opens in theaters May 9th. Remember, right foot forward.